Welcome. I'm thrilled that you're here with me. I'm gonna guide you through a strengthening class with just one set of interval training so we get the cardio going, which is really great for the body as well. We're gonna spend just a few moments warming up, so come up on your toes, move your arms, and get ready for all the fun that we're gonna do. During this class, I hope you have some weights. I will be using my bar and my hand weights most likely. You can always swap and you know do whatever kind of weights that you want to do. And you can do this completely without if you're new uh, or just don't have the stuff. All right, let's do four more circles. Three, two, and one. Kick the heels up towards your buttocks, move your arms up and back. Get those knees, thighs, and hamstrings working. the arms up, kick them all the way back behind your hip, four, three, two, jumping jacks, here, let the fingers meet on top of your head, and remember your pelvic floor, maybe just squeeze it in a little bit, four, Three, two, and one. Twisting. Make sure that the spine is nice and warm. It's gonna carry a lot of our body weight when we work out. Engage the core a little bit. Think about the core, your abs, your back as a kind of a tube. So whenever you're working out, stretch, <laughs> stretching or you know whatever you're doing, you have this kind of tube engaged not to max like all oh, but a little bit of involvement so you are strong in your core the deeper muscles and the more superficial Whew, stopping ah. get yourself into a squat so feet somewhat apart toes pointing out hip back and down and up again Whatever you do with your arms, doesn't really matter a whole lot. I like to move my arms, wrist, my fingers. There's so many ben uh, <laughs> benefits from working out and strengthening the body, and I think you know that. One of them is actually better sleep. Because you have released some of those stress hormones, maybe in your body when you're working out instead of storing them so some of that can actually help with better sleep that's just one part of it <laughs> standing still with your feet somewhat apart i like my toes pointing forward going for bending to side with a little bit of speed <sighs> That tension in your core. So when we do work out and have that tension here around the navel or belly button, we breathe into the lungs and more higher up than we typically would do in a yoga class, for example. So think about moving your ribs apart when you inhale, creating space rather than moving your belly out when you breathe. Just a little bit of a mindset switch, at least it was in my case. So planking out, get yourself walking into a plank with your hands, stacking hands underneath the shoulders, navel in, drop down on your knees if you like. Hold it for four, three, two, one, walk your hands back. And sit your hips down, feel low and nice. And then from here, walk your hands again, one more time to the front. Getting a little bit more into it, so right knee, left elbow, kick, up, and back. For eight, seven, six, five, four, sliding into a workout, three, two, and one. Walk your hands back. This time, take your toes out, maybe more distance in between your knees if you like. 
you kind of work here down, opening up your hip. All right, stand up tall. Get your right leg back for a lunge. So train tracks between your feet. Lower down and up. For a more gentle variation of lunges, you see, when I do lunges, I step quite far back. If it's too much for your knees, you can always do a little bit like this. So find your poison, so to say. Whatever you do, try to avoid having this front knee go way over your toes, simply to avoid over tension and strain in that front knee. One more. And then we switch, other side. Doesn't really matter which side you get yourself started with, for now at least. If you can balance. <laughs> Did you have a nice summer if you're watching this somewhat real time? I hope you did. I just had my summer vacation in Spain, around Barcelona with my family. That was great. Hot, <laughs> because we didn't have any aircon most of the two places that we live. We live with Airbnb, can recommend that normally. And it was nice houses, but we didn't have any um, aircon. So it was pretty hot like throughout the whole day. Also when at home, but um, then somehow you appreciate the Danish boring weather a little bit more. <laughs> Am I right if you live here in Scandinavia? <laughs> Maybe. All right, get your feet apart. We're ready. We're gonna kick off, balance into one leg, lift the other one up, and maybe go for a small lift, lower down, kick the foot out, lift the back foot up, and then glide from side to side. I have done this a couple of times in my videos now, so if you're following me on a regular basis, you might feel that you are mastering <laughs> This one, a little bit. Come on, opening everything up. Two more. Gaze on the floor. buttons here. Slow it down. Get a hand weight or you know, watermelon, a water bottle, whatever you have. I'm just going to get one for this one. I know there's a little bit uneven weight in this one, but that's just because I want to do it with my bicep curl. But, but normally I would do even weights on the left and right side, right? But I don't want to spend time switching. You're just going to squat down, lift the weight overhead, turn around, squat down. With a little bit speed, tempo. So knees really arched out in the direction of your toes. Squeezing the buttocks in as you lift the weight overhead. Please don't drop the weight. Cannot recommend that. You should be feeling some heat by now. If you're following along without weights, of course you just copy paste what I do here with my arms, raising your arms up overhead. Three more. Come on, squeeze those glutes in together like you feel it when you have those arms overhead. All right. Bring one weight here and your left foot out to the side, your hand weight. Well, let me do it opposite way. Your left foot out to the side <laughs> and your weight in your right hand. You're gonna lunge down like this. Reach the foot, navel and stand, push the front leg. Kick this arm up overhead. Bend. 
and kick up. This is a little bit heavy for me this week, so I won't do too many reps. If you're only bringing light weight, you might want to go a little bit quicker than I do here. Two, four. Three, remember, distance in between your feet so you're not too narrow here. Two. We do on one side, we of course do on the other side. So my my left foot in this case now pointing out to the side, the other one the other direction. So somewhat 90 degree angle. Alright? Then come down, push through the front foot, not just the heel, the whole foot, and lift this weight directly up over your shoulder. And engage that core. Muscle mass is important for well-being, for health. Muscle mass and moving your body also create a flow in your lymph system, which again is connected to your immune response. So moving, breathing, not sitting still, sedentary lifestyle the whole time is a recipe for better health in general, for not staying sick as long, better immune uh, response when things are, when things come into battle in our body, so to say, with diseases. Just last one. Okay, so wait down. And now we're gonna do deadlift. So you can use those hand, hand weights or you can go with your bar. I'm gonna go with my bar. Overhand grip, with what? So your thumbs will be pointing in towards your glutes or your legs. Tuck the shoulders back, this is so important. I see so many, especially plus 60. When I move forward, it's like the shoulders drop. Don't, don't train that, please. Train this position. Back with those shoulders, keep it there. It's hard, you have to take a look at the mirror if you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> so look at the mirror. Lean forward with some degree of stretched legs. Now, breathing here, breathe as it makes sense. But remember, you wanna keep that core in. I want you to lean forward with just relaxed. That's also why I want you to keep the shoulders back so you have this straight spine. Feeling of it at least. Let's do six, maybe going to the shin. Five. Lifting through the back of your legs. Four. Three. the last one yep we're gonna go for lunches so I will put my bar up here you can take hand weight on each side if you prefer that let's bring the this time the left foot to the front and the right foot to the back we did it in the warming up so if you're not familiar with working out you have tried this bend both knees and stand tall again Putting the bar, if you have it, on the top of your shoulders, please don't use your neck. Keep the front hip here squeezed in. So when you sit down, you take a look at the video, you don't want to move as you do this. Your hip is not moving out as you sit down. All right? Keep it tucked in. 
So you feel a connection with the back of the front leg as well as the glute, the buttocks. Whew. I'm going pretty heavy with my ball here, so I won't take a gazillion reps. If you want to, you might go a little bit faster. Not too fast though. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, pausing. Shake it out. Other leg. So switch. And repeat. If you're like, I want to follow the beat, you can go down, two, up, two. Yep, keep connecting with the back of the front leg and the glute, which means that you're kicking or pushing through the front heel when you're lifting up. Uh. All right, keep pushing the, in this case, maybe your, your left hip underneath yourself. Five, four, three, Put the weight down. And maybe you go for a sip of water by now. Oh. I want to get my bicep going. This is why I will take my hand weights, which is or which are uh, lighter than the bar at the moment. Um, that's still pretty heavy. So I again will not take a huge amount on our reps. Go lift and lower down. Slowly descent. Eccentric resistance training here when you don't just let go on the way down. The front and the back of the arm, front and back of the leg, front and back of the core, everything works together. Brilliant system. <laughs> so you actually get a little bit into your tricep, back of the arm when you resist, because this is resisting movement down concentric, contracting the muscle fibers in the front of the arm when you lift. Do you feel that? Oh. Yeah. Where is the back? Let's do four more. Keep the spine steady and still. Three. Now moving in the shoulder girdle. So the reason why I like having a bit of strength training and then my cardio and then strength uh, is simply just a matter of choice. <laughs> if I start with the cardio, I feel it's just, it's just, I, I'm not motivated to do the cardio to begin with, but I get motivated as I do my strength process. That's why I do it. Um, let me know if you want to switch. I never put it at the end because that's just, that's just too much. We're going to do 40 seconds of workout cardio, 50 seconds of rest, where I would ask you to move either like I'm doing here in energetic or just some sort of movement. And you can do that as well right now, because I'm going to show you what we're going to do. You're going to do this jump and then step one leg back. This, step it back or 
squat down, step back if you don't jump a whole lot. I'm gonna turn up the music so you can't hear me breathe too much. And you'll see in the corner the next exercise. You should be red in your legs here. Oh, 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 oh,
Awesome. Did you survive? I hope you did. Take a sip of water. All right, we have been working out almost half an hour now. Gonna get into our abs a bit more when you have your breath. And of course, arms but um you can bring your hand weights with you maybe adjust if you want a little bit lighter weights but if you're completely out of breath please just just <laughs> calm yourself until you're ready because this is the one that you're gonna really gonna squeeze in the abs here around the navel again breathe through the ribs kind of a thing lift up Keep that, chuck the, chuck the chin towards the chest, lower down, lift up. Bet your knees if you like it, a little bit less intense with the lumbar, lower part of the spine, really connect it with the floor. Go. Support your head with your hands. <sighs> Gonna go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Bring your weights. One, if you have super heavy weight. Two, if you really want to make a difference right <laughs> I'm gonna do a tricep in this variation elbows in by the ribs and overhead now if you're like I don't feel a single thing even after a couple of, of reps here you might bring your hands over weight and do this back kick I'm not sure I can do it a little bit oh, it's too heavy for me with those weights but please do that one if your hand weights are too light When you, if you do mine, push your hands up towards the sky. Don't lift the shoulders up though. Keep the shoulders connected with the mat. Keep the elbows in. So you feel like the skin of the upper arm is getting 
I wouldn't say rip off, that's the wrong way of saying it, but it gets a little bit sore because you squeeze the arm into the, this um, fabric of your shirt. Five, four bicep also here. Three, I'm not used to doing this with heavy weights. Two, and one. Put the hand weights down and kick your hips closer to your buttocks, or your, sorry, your heels closer to your buttocks. So you can lift up, squeeze in so that the crack in between your buttocks feel like it's been squeezed and like you're holding a dollar bill in between those buttocks, right? Either lower down with your hip like this, or get your right leg for in this instance up and go kick through your left leg or your left heel. Down and up. You are gonna kick like you never kicked before. Down, lift. This is good for your buttocks. You guess you figured that out. Your hamstrings and your lower back. Three, two, go high, one. Resting before we take the other leg, we're gonna rest the behinds and get back to those glutes. So, again, hands behind your head. If you have any neck issues, make sure you get that chin towards the chest to some degree. You don't have to push like vividly, but to some degree. And then go from side to side. Navel in that flat tension. As you do smileys here with your upper back. Go eight, seven, six, lift high, go a lot, uh, wide. Four, three, two, one. Maybe you say no with your head if you want to release some tension. Again, hips somewhat towards the buttocks and, and take a look here. I want to go pretty narrow with my feet. If I go too wide, I will more work the outer edge of my glute. And in this case, I rather work more towards the, again, the midline of the buttocks. That's why I want to go narrow. You can even put a block in between your legs if you want to kick, kick the adductors, the inner thighs to to work a little bit more. So squeeze in, no knees dropping out as you lower down and switch it as you lift. If you wanna go as we did before, raise now this time left leg and let's do it. Lower and keep your right leg in full control. Don't let it kind of drop out to the side. I want you to feel every single lift, not just half of them, everyone. You can make faces. Go six. Level up the hip, five, four, Three, oh, two, one. Oh, boy, I regret not having my towel here. I'm like swimming in my sweat here. Mm, gotta love it. <laughs> Turn around. Get yourself into a plank on the elbows. Elbows, of course, directly underneath the shoulders. Come up on your toes or either your knees. Okay, I just you can stay there. I'm just gonna move my my equipment because otherwise I can't do it. This has become one of my new favorites for the hips and glutes and everything. So take your right leg and bring it to the side. Left. Oof. 
you have to lift the hip or the knee, the leg high to do this and not to lift your hip too high. Five or six. Five, four, push through the elbows. Three, two, Almost there. Of course, we just need a little bit more app. I'm gonna move my mat a little bit further out. We're gonna do uh, leg switches, so to say, from left to right. Um, typically, I would say bring your hands out. And maybe we begin there, but your knees easier than extended. So you fig figure out which way you are. I'll go down on one side. Try not to move your arms, use your arms at all, lift up. Guess what? Navel in, other side, and lift up. Okay. If you feel like, yeah, this is this is okay. I I know this one. I can do it, even to some degree with my legs lifted. Please don't drop the legs on the floor. If you use this, I got you. This is a good challenge. I learned from Pilates. Bring your arms up and keep them there, and try to do this one. Keep going with your arms up. So much harder to control. You don't have the support of your shoulders. So in this case, I feel how much my arms are helping me. Or at least my shoulder girdle. I've got less surface here. Relax your neck again. Keep it tucked towards the chin. <laughs> One more to each side. Should be hard to breathe because you're really getting us. <laughs> Those obliques, cross fibering muscles oh, to serve you here. And then we finish up. Why well, should I have one? Last one for the legs as well, but we're gonna do uh, this side kicking thing for the abs as well. So come out to the side, lean back. Oh, I want to bring my, my cuffs. So you're gonna, I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna bring my, lift the knee up towards the top shoulder, extend the legs out. Maybe lift it, if it's too much, come down, or just use one leg. Always these options. Keep doing that. I just need that extra challenge, which is these babies in between my legs. So I'm on the side of my glute, firmly exhaling as I sit up. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. In whatever way you're getting yourself into. You can definitely have a hand weight in between your legs as well if you feel like you want more. Oh, other side. Now, if you have done this video or maybe others as well, you might be curious as to if you could actually just work out on your own and even make like a personal trainer, almost do your own program to tighten things that you want to tighten. And you can do that because I will create kind of a strength yoga mini training through this fall coming half year that will equip you to put out, put out your, your own program if you want to and train. Oh, the muscle groups that you want to work out with. Oh, that's one. So that might be, might be that you want to work with your core for uh, some, some weeks. I will uh, teach you how to figure out and even create maybe new uh, postures and new strength movements of your own when you know the anatomy behind it and the alignment and stuff like that. 
I promise you the last one. I'm gonna do that. Come into tabletop, I would recommend using some padding underneath. So, flat spine. I don't want you to hang or anything like that. Then you are gonna lift your right leg up and back. Right, make sure that spine is not tilted straight navel in. Bring then the knee out to the side and bring it to the front and listen up. Then you're gonna drop the knee down and kick kind of the heel up without moving the hip up so you're not doing like a dark peeing kind of a thing. And then bring the knee in, internal rotation beside the other one and align with it. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. Up and back, bring the knee out, external rot rotation in your hip. Knee in, kick the foot up towards the sky and then kind of sweep it in and then you get your shin aligned. Do that a couple of more times. Out with the knee. As you bring it to the side, you kick the foot up, bring the knee down, make sure you're still stable in your whole core. Bring it back and in. Last one. Up, navel in. Knee out, bring a little bit to the front midline of the core, then kick the heel up, bring the knee in. And lower the foot down. Okay, I'm gonna show you in this direction as well. So if you're like, I did not get that, maybe you get it if you see it in this direction. Maybe switch legs. Other leg up and back, navel in. Bring the knee out. This is external rotation in your hip if you care about that. Bring it to the front to some degree. Then kick the hip, the foot up. Bring the knee in. Ouch. And align the foot beginning all over again. Four times. Up. Out, to the front, kick the foot up, bring it in. Don't move anything else than this leg. Got two more. Let's see if I can keep doing it. I really need to focus. If this was like really hard, great, repeat it. You can always also do it the other way around or just figuring out how to move that hip without moving the hip sockets as such. It's a fun talent challenge and it's, it's so good for the stabilizing muscles in your hip. Friend, thank you so much for joining me one more time and make sure that you like this video that you subscribe to my channel as i think i've shared a couple of times most people who watch these videos have not subscribed subscribed at all and it really helps me to move forward if you want to help by subscribing use that bell thing so you get a notification whenever i release new videos cool have a blessed day